Welcome back to part two of this video tutorial on factoring to solve equations. Here we have n cubed minus 81n equals zero. First stop, is there something we can factor out here with n cubed and 81n? We sure can factor out an n. That leaves us with n times the quantity of n squared minus 81. Now, what about this binomial? Notice anything curious? we've got the difference of two squares. n squared and 81, well we can break that up, we know that that's going to be n times n, 81 is 9 times 9, difference, here we go. Quantity n plus 9 multiplied by n minus 9. Of course, where did this n come from? That's the original n that we pulled out in the first step. Now we have three factors, this n could be equal to 0, this n plus 9 could be equal to 0, and this factor of n minus 9 is equal to 0. So we set up our three situations. We're going to solve each of them to get n by itself. So here we have n equals 0. Solving this, the answer is negative 9, and solving this one, the answer is positive 9. Yielding our solution set, n equals 0, n equals negative 9, n equals positive 9. Those are the three solutions to this equation. Moving right along to our final example, we have a new equation. We have this equation. 2r squared minus 4r equals 70. The difference you may notice with this problem is that we do not have a trinomial equal to 0. We have two terms equal to 70. That's not going to help us. We need to apply the zero product property. We need to have the whole equation equal to zero. Is there a way that we can get zero on the right side and get rid of positive 70? We sure can. We can get rid of positive 70 by doing the opposite, which is adding negative 70. So add negative 70 to both sides, and then you'll see 70 minus 70 does indeed give us zero, leaving us with 2r squared minus the 4r minus 70 equals 0. As we begin to factor, is there a common factor we can pull out between 2, 4, and 70? We sure can because they're all divisible by 2. Factoring out the 2, now we have 2 times the quantity r squared minus 2r minus 35. This final trinomial shouldn't be too hard to factor. Is there a number times a number that give us 35, or I should say negative 35, and they're a difference of negative 2. With 35, it's probably not hard to see that you're going to have to go with 7 and 5. 7 times 5 gives us 35, and they are also a difference of 2. Let's get those going here. Two binomials. Here we have 2 times r minus 7 times r plus 5. You might ask, how did we decide which gets the negative or the minus and which gets the positive? Well, the only way that you can have a negative 35 or minus 35 is if one's negative, one's positive. But, how do we get the minus 2 right here? Well, since it's a negative, that means your larger absolute value has to be negative, so the minus must go in front of the 7. We're looking now to solve for the variables. 2 here is not a variable, so please disregard that. Now we're looking at the factor here of r minus 7 equaling 0 or r plus 5 equaling 0. So we'll look at those two situations, r minus 7 equals 0 or r plus 5 equals 0. Solving both of them for r, your solution set is 7 and negative 5. Those are the two solutions to the problem, and we're all set. Please feel free to view it again if this went too quick or if you need another refresher.